What's your yeah. guys' plan for watching the show? Like, are you guys going to watch together? Are you going to live tweet? Because I think that every lead has a different approach each season. Some are, like, fully live tweeting, getting in the mix, interacting with people. And then I think others are just, like, silent until the end. Yeah, I don't know. We haven't really discussed it. We're definitely going to be watching this episode together tonight. Mm -hmm. We are in two different time zones. So anytime we're together, we'll hopefully be able to do that. Yeah. As far as live tweeting, I'm not much of a tweeter. I don't do (laughs) Twitter. I think I have like 100 followers. You'll have more than that after tonight. (laughs) Yeah, but don't because you won't get anything good out of me. So... (laughs) I think I don't know I guess we'll have to see mm-hmm. but I, I feel like I'm a little bit more of a hands-off person I I do go on Twitter to, to creep mm-hmm. yeah but I'm never to like participate. just being wasted watching it so I don't yeah. have to <laughs> yeah. right and then we can't trust ourselves so. yeah. yeah and you're like we gotta lock the Twitter app so you don't go on you're just watching <laughs> right. yeah, yeah actually and uh, how about your families how do they feel about the whole experience they're so excited Mm -hmm. I mean, I think the main thing with my family, they were really happy I had Gabby with me Mm -hmm. because it is hard for our families to be apart from us and knowing that we had someone there to like trust and rely on. I think they were like really happy that we had each other. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. The, the, there was one, I believe, Avon, right? Yes. He, He came, his limo entrance, he did mention, um, Gabby or grandpa and, and, and big Tony and it was just yeah. a good a mm-hmm. good moment to remember because I think it's nice a nice transition of seeing how Clayton season ended and the last thing you remember is all the drama and then it's a nice way of like a reminder of oh my god remember her, both of their families they were so great remember like, well, before all that shit happened yeah when Avon came out I turned to her and I said what well, how does he know their families like I was like at first I was like why is he saying that that's so weird and then I was like wait a second we do know their families yeah. they were stars of the show yes. <laughs> yeah they were John's icon yeah I was like yeah. they were they were standouts of the season <laughs> Yeah. They made it. Yeah. <laughs> now, both of you guys seemed pretty confident in your first impression roses. Was that a tough decision for you guys or did it like when you knew you knew it just came naturally? Oh my gosh, it was a hard decision. I feel like there were so many amazing conversations that really just shocked me mm-hmm. and surprised me. And everyone really was just going out of their way to make us feel good. Mm-hmm. So it definitely was like you know, you had really standout conversations and mm-hmm. it was, it was a tough decision for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I don't know how much to do. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's, you guys are cracking me up because Rachel. I'm like, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think I, I do. Like, mm-hmm. it, of course it is a hard decision naturally, yeah. especially just the idea of giving out the first rose is such an honor and like, who knows what happens after that. Um, with the person who receives it, kind Mm -hmm. of where your headspace is at. But at least for me, um, I feel like the conversation was just really well guided and and like, I hate to say it, but intentional. Mm -hmm. So it just, it did seem like kind of um, the right choice. Yeah, the, for sure. There's no right or wrong. Yeah, I agree. You guys had yeah, right yeah. the limo. I remember even yeah. there was just so much energy and it that really matched where you were too. at too. Yeah. yeah. We would both kind of go back to the same guys the first night. Mm-hmm. Like, oh gosh, he really stuck out, you mm-hmm. know. So and he definitely did. Yeah. What was since you you know, you mentioned the word in, intentional, Rhea and I were both like we were both like we were both like, huh? Um Quincy, you know, he said, I'm very intentional. I haven't had sex in a year and a half. And we were just like, all right, thanks for sharing. Why would he say that? Like, we were just very confused. We're like, well, that's the first thing you say. Why would they even really care? Like, you've had sex before. Like, it wasn't like he was like, I'm a virgin. (laughs) Right. What what was going through your mind? Did you you know how this season ended? (laughs) At least for me, I'm like, does he know who he's talking to? (laughs) (laughs) She's like, that makes all of us. Yeah. Yeah. And all going through my mind, that's all I could think about. And I didn't want to, you know, say it to him. Yeah. But that's what all the drama was surrounding. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of an interesting bit of information. To um, leave with. Yeah. 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 But we didn't forget it. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't forget it. Yeah. <laughs> 